The Singapore Airlines International Cup is next. This is a 10 furlong group one. We're on the turf again. Let's take a look at the field. Some top notches in this. Bravery Antique for David Robertson is at the top. Empire of Rome, Paul Rhodes, Ford versus Ferrari. Or Dan Hughes, Jaws for Munas, King of War, Leon van Rensburg, Lavish Flame for Munas again, Milan's Richard, Dan Hughes, Secret Surfer, Darren Thompson, Court Humour, Leon van Rensburg, Missing Home, Derek Hinton, Spirit Demar, Darren Thompson, Springfield Clown going for a four-timer for Vinnie Gerrard, Sponger Hard for David Robertson, then Yonkers Argy for Vinnie Gerrard again, who's unbeaten in two, so Vinnie Gerrard got a pretty strong hand in this one, you would think. All installed and ready to go. Looks remarkably like Ascot, doesn't it, at the minute? And they're away and off. And the grey Ford versus Ferrari has got away quickly. Moving more like a Ferrari than a Ford at the moment, you'd suggest. But Lavish Flame has now come through, and so too has Jaws. With Lavish Flame, who's now going to get the lead and get across to this fence and leads by a good four lengths or so. Wide on the track is Secret Surfer. Milan's Richer has come through into second now. The one that's just struggling to go the pace early on is missing home in the pink and black for Derek Hinton in last place. But it's Lavish Flame who's four clear of Milan's Richer in the blue. That one's now just been eased back into the pack, and I think all that bothered about chasing lavish flame at the moment they seem quite happy to let it have a uncontested five length lead with just six furlongs left to go Don't seem overly concerned court humor is in second da uh, david robertson's pair are to the four bravery antique and empire of rome wide on the track he is secret surfer wider still king of war the two green jacketed hot pots for really gerard are nearer the back on the front at the moment but that's the way he normally likes it, and it's Lavish Flame in the lead, leading by about two from now. Queen Wide on the track, um, Secret Surfer is starting to run, so too is King of War. Jaws is down on this near side, the Grey Ford versus Ferrari is now to it either. Neither Spirit de Marma lands, Richer is still there as well. Bravery Antique, Yonkers Argy is starting to get going, but Springfield Clan is really struggling out the back and looks to have no chance at this point. It's Lavish Flame in the lead, then by two to Ford versus Ferrari and Jaws, then Melandre Richard, Spirit de Mar, Secret Surfer and Court Humor still there. Bravery Antique, there's plenty of chances as they come down towards the final furlong and a half. Lavish Flame is hanging on, but here comes Ford versus Ferrari and Jaws. Bravery Antique is flying up the centre of the track, and now they're racing now in towards the final half furlong, and it's Ford versus Ferrari. Lavish Flame, Brave Antique and Jaws as they race up towards the line. It's going to be Ford versus Ferrari who's going to take it. Ford versus Ferrari takes it from Lavish Flame. And long on, really want to take second. Sponger Hard and then Jaws and Bravery Antique. And I can see three horses running in the silks of David Robertson. So I'm not quite sure what's gone on there. I'll have to have a look at that in a minute and see if he's got three in it. I don't know how he managed to do that. But it's Ford versus Ferrari that's won it. Um. Let's take a look at the card and see. Ford versus Ferrari for Dan Hughes is the winner. Lavish Flame second for Munas. Spongahard for David Robertson was third. Jaws fourth for Munas. And Bravery Antique fifth for David Robertson. The other horse that ran in his colours, I'm not quite sure who that was. We'll see when the card goes down. If he did have another one in it, but there were definitely three. So let me just take a little look back at the card as it's going up at the beginning and see what was going on there because that's puzzled me just a bit it's Paul Rhodes, Paul Rhodes Empire of Rome for some reason was running in the colours of David Robertson I don't know what's happened there, maybe something's gone awry a little bit because I don't think Paul Rhodes would deliberately run in those colours because David Robertson's had them for donkey's years. Anyway, there you go. So, Paul Rhodes' Empire of Rome was masquerading as a horse from the stable of David Robertson.